Hi, I'm Bill Wetzel from SurfRatsBall.com. I highly encourage you to subscribe to SurfRatsBall.com to get all kinds of surf fishing information. Um, today, what I'm going to be talking about is taping on the reel. Um, I prefer taping on the reel um, as opposed to reel seats for several reasons, which I'll get into. But first, I know there's going to be a lot of questions on what rod I'm, I'm taping on, what reel. It's not really the purpose of this video, but I'll, I'll let you know anyway. So, this little bad boy is a uh, custom rod from, or bad girl, I should say. It's a custom rod. It's the GSB 132-1M. Now, this is the original blank of, of the Lama Glass. Lama Glass GSB 132-1M. GSB is graphite surf blank. 132 is a blank. One piece M, meaning medium action. Now, you can tell the original of the of the Lama Glass because they have a number 12 tip. They don't have a number 12 tip. It's not the original Lama Glass. Um, this was recently given to me, thank God, for Steve Napick from uh, um, the Ultimate Surf Belt, which the, is the surf belt that I use. Um, I mean, thank thank God he gave me that because I was looking all over for one because I broke my last one. I broke it on a back cast. I hit some bubble weed and it just shattered right in front of me. It was like an explosion. Um, on this rod. I, I prefer a traditional uh, guide layout, and maybe I can get a uh, 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 a short uh, shot of that. Um, but you'll see these are like high frame, old school ceramic guides on this. And what I'm going to be putting on my 11 foot uh, lama glass rod is a um, Bond style uh, 275. 50 pound test power pro that's my standard of montauk sometimes i go with 65 depending on what i'm doing but that that's the setup that i'm using let's get to taping on the reel so on this rod you can see uh, the butt of the rod um flared butt cap that's for a couple reasons because i like i like i like the grip and when i'm coming down my hand doesn't slip and the second reason is in the rocks it's 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 not going to uh, break and it's really uh, rock resistant. Um, also, I got some. Uh, it's just a cork tape handle, right? And then I have this on the bottom, and I got more shrink wrap in the middle. The shrink wrap on the bottom is is uh, for the rocks, not re really for my hands. For the rocks, is a little extra protection for the rocks shrink wrap in the middle is where I put my uh, reel. I'm going to show you how I uh, determine where I'm going to put my reel. This is the uh, setup. Beautiful, beautifully done by Lou's Custom Rods, Lou Caruso. My name, Ohio State Buckeyes. And the traditional guide, guide layout. Nothing fancy. One, two, three, four, five guides in a tip. That's what I like. The reason I like that is because less to go wrong. I hate a guy, I hate a rod with a whole bunch of a whole bunch of guides. You're out there on a rock and you're and you, something goes wrong. You have to put your line through all those guides in the middle of the night. You know, with a wind, it's not easy. Okay, one of the advantages of having uh, the tape on your reels is you can put the rod, the reel, anywhere you want to put it. I can put it here. I can put it down here. Um, I could adjust it depending on what size reel I have. Right now, like I said, I, I have a VS275, and I like it right about here. Now, how did I determine that? Well, it's really, really simple. If you're getting a new rod, I would recommend um, getting the reel, taking the reel on with some masking tape, and just doing some shadow casts. Where do you like it? Do you like it here? Do you like it there? Do you like it, you know, some guys will swear that down here you get more leverage it depends on where you're comfortable I like it right there I can lock it between my legs I have my hand up here when I'm reeling um, that's one of the great advantages of uh, uh, taping on the reel another advantage is um, when you tape on your reel it's not necessarily that you get better feel on the tip it's a better feel of the rod overall because when you're casting your hand is not on a piece of plastic it's on this nice, cushy tape. And you'll see how I tape it. And, and it's way more comfortable than a piece of plastic or a piece of metal. Not to mention, when it's November, 
or December and you're fishing or early May and April and you're fishing at that plastic it's cold and your hands get cold that's another reason so there's several reasons why it's not necessarily feel from here to the tip where you get the feeling up feeling of the rod better it's it's the feel down here it's the feeling of that you don't want that feeling on your hands at least I don't you know this is what I prefer it's not necessarily what you should do it's just something I prefer I tape all my all my all my rods that I use personally, except I think for one, all the reels are taped on. Way easier. It's really easy to take them off just with a razor blade. So let's uh, get to taping on the reel. All right, you're going to essentially need, for what I do, I mean, there's a lot of ways to do it. Um, um, some people use actually monofilament to do it. Um, I just use three tapes. You're going to need some duct tape electrical tape now the electrical tape make sure you buy good stuff make sure it's the thicker type of electrical tape I know if you buy it cheap it's thinner you don't want that you want the thickest possible electric tape you can electrical tape you can find um, and then I use friction tape and I'll show you all three um, as I progress to do this it only takes a few minutes to do this it's not hard all right the first thing I'm going to do so I'm going to take my electrical tape now all I need is a little uh, electrical tape, my duct tape, cut it, just a piece about that length, tear it down the middle, right, and I'm going to put these two pieces to the side. I'm just going to put it right here, and right there, and now those two pieces are to the side. Alright, so initially when you're putting on the reel, that's one of the most important parts of doing it. So, a lot of guys will do this, and then they'll do this, you know, and then they'll look here. Maybe the, I'll do that lastly, but at first, really, all you need to do is put the, put the guides facing down, straight down, and line that up with the middle of your knob, of your drag knob. That's how I do it. It's the easiest way. And then... Once you have it all lined up, take the first piece of duct tape. Now, duct tape is really important. That's all I will use on this first one. Other tapes I've experimented with, and they just don't work as good. So, I mean, you can experiment yourself, but, you know, I've been doing this now for God Lord, Lord knows how long. So you put one on one side of the stem of the reel, and the other on the other side, nice and tight. Now if you want, now you can look and make sure it's all lined up. And with those two pieces of duct tape, and it is completely lined up. That is a very good job I just did. So, with these two pieces of duct tape, you can move it around just a little bit and then tighten it up just by pressing it. You can see what I just did. That's the beginning. Of it, right? Just start now. All right. Once you got your duct tape on there, now it's time for the good old electrical tape. Now you want to do this. What I'll do at first, especially, is I'll go around the back of the stem of the reel, and then the front of the stem of the reel. So I get it nice and tight. And you want to be pulling the tape as tight as you can until it almost breaks while you do this and it's gonna break sometimes too so you know this is a brand new uh, electrical tape <laughs> the smaller ones are re really a lot easier to deal with so if you want I don't you can't see if I do this but really I'll just put the tip on the ground and I'll do it like that it's easier Maybe I can do it up here. So you guys can see that. And I'm just going to keep wrapping it, wrapping it, and wrapping it until I got it where I want. Now, what you want to do also is you want to wrap it until it reaches both ends of the uh, of, of the stem of the reel. And don't be skimpy on the tape. I see some guys. Well, we all used to tape on, well, most of us. 
but some guys will only use a little bit of the tape. And then what happens is you get a big fish on, you get a big fish day, a lot with a lot of fish, and your reel will move. You don't want that. You want this reel to be solid on there. All right. So this is with the duct tape or with the uh, electrical tape, a little bit of duct tape on the bottom, and that's basically how she looks. So now, last but not least, is friction tape. Now for me, I use the friction tape just, just so I have some extra grip. You don't need much of this, just a little bit. It just helps me, especially, you know, <laughs> getting older. It's uh, a lot harder for me to grip things than it used to be. So this just makes it feel really nice and gives it extra grip. And I, a little bit of this goes a long way. Just put it all over the place so I can get my grip. And there you go. And now I also I'll put it uh, put it on the bottom of here for this hand, for my left hand. So when I'm casting, uh, I get that extra grip. And that's how I tape on my reel on a rod. Superior to any reel seat, in my opinion. I also do it to my freshwater rods. I'll see you in the Surf Rats Ball. Please don't forget, hit the bottom uh, left or right or whatever in the hell it is. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.